Hi Taurus, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Somebody is fighting a dark night of the soul right now. Something is trying to come to the surface because this just came out crossing. This just came out crossing shadow side, moon, the dark night. So this is telling me someone is fighting. This could be you. Uh, somebody's being pushed to do something different or allow something to come to the surface and they're having a hard time with it. Could be you or somebody in your energy. Focus. Whoever this per okay, focus. Eyes for you fascinated and watching you. So you got somebody watching you, lurking and lurking around in your energy. They might be lurking on your page. They could be looking you up or trying to find more energy. Um find oh, hmm. Somebody might be trying to figure your figure you out energetically. What is that about? I don't know why. Show me more here. Hmm. Something about your eyes, somebody's eyes. What is this? Somebody you kicked to the curb, somebody from the past. That card did not come out, but it I, I saw that. So you could this could be somebody you know. Somebody you know is being guided by spirit. What else here? To face a dark night of the soul. Yeah. That this okay knowing they effed up this fell on top of the shadow side so the person from the past that you're no longer talking to right now is being forced to see themselves for something for whatever it is that they did to you in the past because this is past energy the current energy now is this person is still focused on you they're still thinking about you they want to know what you're doing um, they could be stalking you on social media, watching you somewhere. They could be trying to stalk you energetically too. Um, for some of y'all, that's not for everybody here, but spirit is pushing this person to allow whatever they need to grow and grow up because this person is now in some energy of regret because they feel like they effed up. They may have even keep kept something hidden from you desire this person desires you physically that's why they're watching you they like what they see desire fell directly on top of focus eyes for you fascinating and watching you lust sexual chemistry this person's thinking about you um you know they they're thinking about your body i don't know something about their your body your lips or your eyes that they're really drawn to divorce Divorce just fell on top of shadow side and focused, okay? So this person here is going through some form of divorce right now. Maybe you could have divorced from this person. If they aren't married, then they're separating from somebody or this could be the separation from you. What It says, I'm ending my long-term relationship to be with you. So this could be the reason why this person is so focused on you and they miss you and they're in this regret because the two of you are not talking okay you're not together what's this divorce energy somebody's getting ready to focus on themselves here this could be somebody trying to, to trying to separate themselves from some form of bad habit ad addiction drugs toxic something okay this person i feel like this energy has gotten them into a lot of trouble this, this behavior has gotten this lustful behavior, this addiction, this drug habit, or whatever they do that was toxic, especially how it affected the connection between the two of you. This person knows they effed that up. And now this person is ready to, is being forced to heal. All right, let's pull some tarot. Let me get one more. There's something new coming in here. This person may want to come in and offer something new to you celebration gifts and abundance or you may have some form of abundance coming in show me more about the celebration this gifts and abundance energy ace of cups ace of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy this is something new either this person wants to come in and reconcile and offer something to you after separating from somebody else um uh, make them prove it just came out in reverse. So I don't know if you guys are going to be interested in this or not from what I'm seeing. Okay. Maybe because this person stabs you in the back. Okay. Seven of swords, ten of swords, whatever this person did, they know that they effed up. They know they effed up. Definitely somebody here who is toxic. All right. Let's clarify some of this stuff. 
What's this dark night of the, the shadow side and the dark night in the moon energy here? Clarify the shadow side energy. Eight of Wands and the Magician and the Six of Wands. I feel like something here is coming to the surface and this person knows that. Somebody here could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, or a Gemini. Something is definitely coming to the surface. And this person wants to communicate with you or overcome this here. Queen of Wands. I feel like you... Um, being with this person helped them. Whatever they experienced with you, you helped this person realize something. You put, you definitely pushed them into their shadow side or something. Put a mirror up to their face. What's this focused energy? So this person wants to manifest a chance with you. The focused energy is a page of wands. Like I said earlier, this person does have a lot of lust and this sexual chemistry and desire for you. They do, but they want to communicate. They're sitting back watching you like they're ready to take action. They want to say something here, but they're not saying it. Four of Swords. They know they need to heal here. They know they need to heal from this Knight of Wands energy. They know they need to heal from this Knight of Wands energy for sure. Which is that lustful energy we talked about. What's the Spirit Guide's energy here? What are the Spirit Guides assisting this person with? Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Wands just came out. The Six of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like the Spirit is is pushing this person to heal some inner childhood wounds. Something that may have happened to them in the past. They might be pushing the, this person to release that energy. You could definitely be dealing with a fire sign here. Or you could be a fire sign. Something significant happened in this person's life that caused them to feel like abandoned, neglected, maybe abused or something here. Um, it needs to be healed. It's been rough for this person. Okay, nine of wands. What's this desire, lust energy here? Clarify. Yeah, they're watching you. Whatever they this person sees, page of swords, whatever they see online or whatever they're looking at, whether they have pictures, video, or whatever. This person is super focused, laser focused on you. This is like energy of like somebody looking at you every day, always checking social media to see wherever they're checking for you on. They like what they see. This person is looking at this book. All right. Now, clarify the divorce energy. Clarify this divorce energy. We have the two of cups just came out crossing. Clarify the divorce energy. We have the page of pentacles. Clarify the divorce energy. And the knight of pentacles. One more for divorce. And the death card, Scorpio energy. So this is over whatever this situation is. There is no more love in this situation. There is no more love. And there, somebody could be paying out alimony. Okay, I feel like this is a separation regardless of if somebody was married or not, regardless of the contract. At some point, these two people did love each other, right? This person loved whoever this person was with. For some of you, this could be somebody they had children with um, or had a family with or just been with since childhood. It's going to be different for all of you. Somebody here could be dealing with a younger a fire sign, a younger earth sign, or a younger uh, air sign. Someone here could have three kids also. That's not for everybody. But the situation, I feel like this divorce, this separation has been coming for a long time. Like this is somebody tried to avoid this, this for a long time. You know, with the Knight of Pentacles and the death and rebirth, it's like... This should have been over a long time ago. Now this person's realizing like what they're going to have to do, which is transform their life. Um... I feel like this person did everything they could to avoid this with the shadow side and the dark night coming out crossing. But you meeting them, I think, and showing this person something that they never had experienced or seen or understood before. And they you made this person realize it was real. It was true. Real love. However, whatever you gave this person, I feel like this is something they didn't have before. Now this person might be going to a therapist or they're learning spiritually. Spirit is, we put a mirror up to this person's face. They're learning some form of lesson here. 
and they're realizing that they've got to end something and change their life. Disconnect. Uh, what's the celebration, abundance, and Ace of Cups energy? Nine of Pentacles. So this person could be getting um, single. They might be newly single here soon. Or this is you being in this single abundant energy about to find new love with this Ace of Cups and this abundance. Whoever this is, is, is not codependent on anybody. This could be this person being completely free and not dependent on somebody else. Now, clarify this Ace of Cups energy. Oh. Clarify this Ace of Cups energy. We have the Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Clarify this Ace of Cups and this Abundance energy. The Sun. Wow, something's being revealed to somebody. Your Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and Leo and Virgo energy. The Queen of Wands is already out here. The, the King of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. And the Fool. Okay, there's a new beginning here with the Queen of Wands. Somebody just kind of really wants to be with this Queen of Cups. They think about them a lot. But they're having this realization. What's this sun energy with the Hermit? What's this? Definitely could be dealing with the Leo. Somebody is finding the courage and the strength to do something. What is what is this sun energy with the Hermit and the strength? Somebody's like indecisive and back and forth. Knight of Cups. You know, somebody's like, I want to bring this love offer, have the courage and the strength to come over here and say something to the collective, but they're stuck in their head. I, I don't I don't know why this person's stuck in their head. What, what what's this eight of swords and this two of pentacles? Why is this person stuck in their head or unsure? Knight of Swords. They don't want to make an impulsive decision, maybe. Um, they don't mm, what's this? Why are they in their head? <sighs> the Empress. They may feel like, what is this? Clarify this Empress. Clarify the Empress. Seven of Pentacles. <clears throat> I feel like this person wants to rush towards you. And you're waiting for them and you know this. But also, too, I feel like this person like hasn't rushed towards you yet because of somebody else that they're dealing with, that they're separating from. They're definitely trying to plan something here and figure some things out. The judgment and the three of wands energy, Scorpio energy, it's, it's like this person's trying to figure something out. They're not quite ready yet, but I feel like they want to. You know, like they're ready to, but there seems to be like money, uh, 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 money is a factor here. Whether somebody has to pay somebody something, alimony, child support, whatever this is, somebody has to give something like, yeah. Somebody experienced a tower moment here. Your person may have experienced a tower moment. Definitely. Look at all this toxic energy. Ew. The wheel, the five of wands, the eight of cups, the devil, the five of cups, the ten of swords, and the tower. Somebody's going through it quite a bit. Let's pull some more some more cards. What else here? So what's this what's this person's what's this three of wands? What's this three of wands? Divine Masculine um, has abandonment issues from the past, or they feel like you may have abandoned them. But Divine Masculine is shallow, empty, hollow. They feel empty without you, but also I feel like this person that was trying to avoid this tower moment, trying to avoid this dark night of the soul, they're trying to avoid everything they could to disconnect from this toxic energy and open their heart and uh, be more vulnerable, right? Um, but now I feel like this person is like, 
they've gone through so much they're being forced into this energy and because they're at their breaking point they're at their final straw this is like ten of wands energy they are they feel very very overwhelmed so this person doesn't have a choice but to address it and see it and experience it and feel it they're doing everything they can to hide it this person could be crying and like hiding that from people something about this energy because you see how this person and they have their head down they're not showing their face this person could be hiding what they're going through right now you know from their friends or their family members or from somebody maybe even from you they're doing everything they can to keep this emotion of like hidden this literally says obscurity you see how this person's hiding their face again secrets mysterious and concealing but death this person's very emotional over this they know the importance of what's happening they do want a second chance with you they do want to make amends with you they really want to call a truce and heal and bring some form of um, harmony back into the situation after all this drama and this conflict that this person was experiencing. They're really hoping and, and praying and wishing for another chance with you. Um, and then, and boom, there we go. Twin flame. Twin flame, hoping, expecting, faith, manifesting. I'm telling you, this person exa is exhausted right now. They're depleted. They're in this Ten of Wands energy, but that's because they're fighting this process. The tower hit. You're not going to be able to avoid it. That's the, the hand of God. Okay, baby, that's the hand of God. I feel like this person is a little bit obsessed or infatuated with you, but they've been very, very silent. You know, um, you maybe haven't said anything to this person um, this person, if they have a family, you know, things are not going well over there, wherever they are, unfortunately. Um, this masculine is, you know, unfortunately having to figure this out. Um, you could be, let me see, let's get some messages here. What does this masculine want to say here? The person that... Is desiring the collective what does this person want to say to the person they're desiring this person feels like the two of you are a perfect pair they um, regret trying to be smarter and using their their head over their heart king of swords energy maybe we're dealing with a gemini a libra or an aquarius here this person overthought the connection even though they knew you were the perfect person you were their perfect match it's like your energies just sync you know what i mean like the two of you were in sync with each other your 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 energy they loved your energy that you brought um your intuition something about your intuition really scares this person you could be a high priestess maybe you're you have a clear sentience, clear audio, whatever they call it. Um, you're gifted. Maybe you have dreams. Okay. Maybe you've already told this person something or forecasted something in the future uh, with this person. They feel like you have, uh, we did see the queen of cups energy, right? Which is somebody who's intuitive. You could be a Pisces. You don't have to be, but uh, this person heart says yes, right? But their mind says no. And this person is going through a lot of mental agony with that eight of swords. And that two of pentacles energy. This part, this masculine is seeing something different now. They were in illusions before. So, so see, like this person was somebody who lied, lying to themselves, lying to other people, uh, holding them own selves back from seeing the truth of the situation. Um, really had on blinders, just like the like damn blinders refuse to see some shit okay but now they're being forced to see some shit they didn't want to see you see these eyes like something here about eyes and lips like somebody's being forced to see something i also feel like this person is like obsessed with like your eyes or they really love your eyes or your lips or something it says i was only um lonely was only able to see what i wanted to see i'm sorry for not seeing your worth they saw your worth 
They um, just they knew what you meant to them, how they cared, how they cared about you, how they loved you, how how you made them feel. Really, um, they knew who you were, but they just refused to see it. Um, hmm. Expression. So this person wants to talk with you. I want the whole world to know you are mine and only mine. <sighs> telepathy, telepathy. Do you hear me talking to you? I need you close to me right now. Please respond. So this person wants to talk with you. They're trying to connect with you energetically. I felt, I felt that energetic tug earlier when those cards came out. Um, stress. I'm emotionally drained to the point where I am beginning to shut down. That's that Ten of Wands energy, right? We talked about this. This person is stressed the heck out. They're in this dark night of the soul they, that they try to avoid. They don't want to be there. And they're hiding their emotion from their family and their friends. Like they are like, they're struggling right now. We're going to send them a prayer. <laughs> but it's healthy for you to allow these illusions to come out. Let's see what, what else this person wants to say to you. What else does this person want to say to the collective? One more, please. Okay, I got two more. I need to own up to where I fell short in this relationship. I mean, they're seeing the true colors now. They are seeing that. Okay, I need to own up to where, where I fell short in this relationship. Yes, I do want to be with you. So this person definitely does want to be with you, but I feel like it's going to take them a little time to kind of get their life together because they seem to be stressed out like a lot right now. I wanted to play the field and now look where that got me. Nowhere. Yeah. They disregarded how you made them feel, how you showed up for them. They knew what they felt with you. They never felt it with anybody else before, but they were in their head instead of in their heart or they had some other situation going on here. I feel like it could be a combination of both. They want to know if you're still in love with them or their potential. This person is a little insecure. They have abandonment issues. They think that you would leave them because you're not, they're not good enough. Something about their inner child, either how they were raised or what they experienced or something that made them feel abandoned as a child. I feel like this person still has something to heal and address. They need to allow that to come to the surface so they can get over it because I feel like this person is slightly insecure. Um, that's another reason why they avoided this and they just ran and they chose not to see and they chose to still be in this delusional denial energy and refuse to see who you were to them and what you gave and provided them with the love and support and kindness that you gave them but like unfortunately hopefully they address this you know and heal but I love you guys make sure you have your notification bell turned on to all so you are um, notified on when I post new videos if you need a personal reading that information is below in the description box um, also, too, I am open for personal readings, so that information is also there. And join us on Patreon. That's where we do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings and Twin Flame readings. They also get weekly Oracle readings and um, access to all the extended readings. So if this is where we end, you guys, I love you. Just hit the like button for me. That would be greatly appreciated. And subscribe. Bye.